Happy Friday, everybody. Um, my gosh, I am just very, very happy today. Um, a lot of things that we've been working on, uh, I've been praying about, you know, um, different things with different of the different children um, are all kind of things are falling into place, things are working out, and uh, it's really, really nice. So even um, my husband had a good day uh, with his investments and stuff, and I was like, all right, babe, this is a turning the corner, you know, because we had a rough patch with everything that's been going on, it's so crazy. Um, and I I'm just very grateful. So I was listening to The Godfather, uh, Mr. Samuels, and he was talking to some women, and he was asking them, you know, what's um, the first way that you take care of your man. And, uh, you know, one lady said, you know, um, tummy full balls empty. And I wish I could find that video I did year, a couple years ago. It was, it was lit, but anywho, it's okay. Um, that message is out there by now, but, uh, um, uh, and he said even before that, because that's pretty, um, primal, he said, um, is the ego, um, you know, taking care of a man's ego. And uh, I thought, you know what? I've I've always felt that way. I always thought it was very important that my husband knew, you know, how amazing he is, um, how I see him as, you know, always that he's successful and he's going to be even more successful. Um, all the good things about him, you know, his body, his um, skills, uh, you know, everything. Um, and recently when I've been going through all this, like, you know, what's going on with my hormones and this and that and doctors and this and that and trouble weight and then working out and blah, blah, blah and all this and that. I kind of realized that I kind of got turned around where I was focusing more on myself, which in some sense is, okay, yes, I need to because I was definitely needing to get my body in the right place. So I'm, I'm working very hard on that. But at the same time, it can also turn into where it's too much focus on yourself and you can actually become self-absorbed, not a surprise to anybody. Um, but you know, I was, I was meaning it with the best intentions because I want to look good and, and, you know, um, make my daddy happy, you know, and, um, be pleasing to him. And of course, bless his heart. He's like, honey, no matter what, till the day we die, I'll always see you as the young wife that I married, um, or the 14 year old girl that I fell in love with, you know, so, and I'm like, well, God bless you. Like Undead Chronic said, you know, wifey goggles. So that is just a, that is a true benefit of giving your life to a man at a young age. That is really a blessing because aging for a woman is brutal. I mean, brutal. I have like, oh, see, self-absorbed. I'm too self-absorbed. So I'm like, I'm counting the weeks that have gone by and I'm like, nothing's happening yet. You know, I don't feel any different and all this kind of stuff, you know, and I, I expect to like, you know, reshape my body in three weeks or I've been working out longer than that, but you know, doing the hormones and things and, um, bioidentical by the way. And, um, you know, and I, my husband's like, listen, you have to give it literally like three or four months of solid, consistent, everything that you're doing before you can look in the mirror and say, ah, oh, I see results, you know? So that's really important. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And I said, I am over scrutinizing now. I'm overthinking now and I'm over just being overly critical and too self-absorbed. So I have to go back to put my focus back on daddy, you know? And it's not that I don't focus on him, don't take care of him, but there's a, a higher level of than just making sure his food's cooked and do you want some, you know, do you want me to do my job, put my ass in there, you know, and all these kind of things. It's, it's putting in that extra care, that extra touch, that extra paying attention to the things that he's talking about, um, things that he's discussing with me that I have to try very hard to stay focused and understand these numbers and things that he's trying to get through to me. Um, because then he's asking me my opinion and I'm like, ah, uh, you know, so I don't just make anything up. If I don't understand, I'll ask him, but I do need to stay focused. Otherwise I can drift off in the conversation. Um, but you know what? It is, is very true that, and they always say that if you're feeling down or you're depressed or this or that, if you, uh, put yourself in service to others, that helps you to, take your mind off of yourself, right? So certainly 
I'm always thinking about my kids. What can I do for my kids? And uh, obviously, my husband's my my whole life, my whole day, day and night. Um, but I have been certainly preoccupied with I need to look better. I need to less wrinkles. I need you know <laughs> everything to tighten up. Like let's go, let's go. Um, and he, you know, God bless him. He's so patient with me. You know, he reminded me just to be patient and to keep doing the consistency. And our second oldest son. Um, came to visit this weekend because the third son it's his birthday this weekend so that's a lot of fun and um, he looks great um, he's been working out at the gym like a champ um, up where he lives and um, he's lost like 36 pounds and just put on like muscle and he looks so great I'm like go baby go so um, you know so that's nice and it was a reminder yes you know and it's it's always different when you see someone that you haven't seen for a while you can see more of the difference than looking at yourself every day it's just one of those things um so anywho but uh so i was just gonna say you know what yes ladies we we have to take care of his ego it's not just about feeding him it's not just about having those wonderful intimate times together <laughs> um it's also about making sure that he knows that he's phenomenal and it's that's one of the reasons why even before i had the guts to try to like hey second wife interviews all this stuff what do you want to do and blah 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 um because i've i've <laughs> you guys already know i've always been jealous so um but even before that I always would say, hey, honey, that cute girl was looking at you or "Ooh, those girls are looking at you or those ladies or, you know, she was flirting with you or blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, I, I would I would tell him, like, you are so fine. And I'm like, you everywhere we go, women stop and just look at you, you know, and because, and, yes, it, and some women would say, well, you're going to make his head too big, you know, you're going to uh, too much. And I'm like, no, actually you know, men, I found their egos are very fragile. And especially if he didn't grow up like arrogant or super cocky, even though he was confident in his own right, but he wasn't like, he had more, uh, like self-conscious, um, you know, am I good enough? You know, I want to be better. I want to be better. And he, that drive just still goes today. It's why he works so hard in the gym and everything like that. And everything that he does he busts his butt like it's way above you know <laughs> what you usually see people doing at the gym and in life so that's just how he's lived his life but part of that drive comes from um being humble you know not thinking that he's the shit shit you know what i'm saying like he he just feels like hey there's always somebody bigger than me always somebody maybe better looking than me whatever whatever um you know, and, and that's a blessing. It is a blessing to be attractive and still be humble because that's, that's a rare combination. So anywho, so I just felt like, you know what? I want you to know. I don't want you to guess. I don't want you to doubt yourself. I want you to know because I almost, I felt like if a man is trying to prove something to himself, he has a higher chance of going out there and trying to prove something to himself. You know what I'm saying? Can I get that girl? Can I do this? Can I do that? you know, um, just to prove your own manhood to yourself. And, uh, I'm not a man, but you know, I can only guess that that is something that men deal with. And so I was just like, Hey, you don't even have to guess, sir. <laughs> they're there and they're ready. And he knows that, you know, he has certainly turned down, um, advances, but anywho, so, um, I think it's important and in all areas, everywhere that you see that he is, successful or good at something or does something in excellence or you know his muscles he's fine his eyes his soul you know nice to his friends he's good to his friends you know whatever anything that you can find to compliment him on genuinely is going to mean a lot to him the number one thing that men have always that i've heard is they want to hear appreciation they want to feel respected and admired you know so that's mama rada's little spiel for today and i'm gonna go inside and finish cleaning up and getting things ready and uh yeah it's a good it's a good day and i'm very happy about that and i've found a new counselor through my insurance to deal with my extended family issues um 
you know, <laughs> I will do another talk about some things that I think are right about like Alcoholics Anonymous or Al-Anon because, you know, as far as the family members, it's the Al-Anon, right? Um, and some things that I don't agree with. <laughs> so <laughs> I am trying to work on having a proper boundaries with uh, family members and such. Um, extended family that we've always been very close but our house is our main family that is our family and I've overextended myself a million and one times trying to help people they really generally don't want to help themselves so you know I'm working on it and it's important it's important to my husband it's important to my kids um yeah so sometimes you need somebody else to help you with that I'm going to give this lady a try she is covered by our insurance, so that's nice. Um, I found out that a little trick tip is if you go see like a psychologist or a psychiatrist, I guess you just do psychologist. Um, they're also counselors, they're therapists, but um, they're covered by your insurance. So you could just pay your copay versus if you just look up a counselor or a therapist out there that doesn't have any of those um, titles, your insurance doesn't cover it. And these people are charging like $180 an hour. And it's like, uh, no, you know, and they don't take insurance. So that is my recommendation. If you're trying to get some counseling, get some help, you know, to get over whatever you're trying to get over in your life, doesn't mean you have to get on antidepressants. I told her that's one of the first things that I was very annoyed that all the doctors and therapists, whoever I've ever talked to in my life, first thing they ever recommended when they don't even know what I'm dealing with, what I'm struggling with. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I would like to just face things head on, deal with it and move on. That's my goal. Some people need it temporarily, whatever. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that just because you go to a doctor doesn't mean you have to take medication. So, um, yeah, that's good. And, uh, I just want to pass all that important information on because us ladies got lots of issues. And, um, I was telling our third son down um you know that guys tend to seem you know they can also get counseling but a lot of guys tend to deal with it differently and often they can go out with a buddy for real for real just have some beers go fishing maybe talk about it a little bit maybe get all this shit out you know just blah, blah blah and one night and they're done like you know it's not everybody but there's a lot of guys they just process differently where women it's like over and over and over and we keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it until like somehow we want like some other different result to happen so it's like we have to resolve things we have to process things and um that's not everybody but it's i've noticed a lot of us and a lot of times we end up sounding like a broken record and we're talking about the same hurt over and over again or the same situations over and over again and um that that probably means you need some outside help you know whether it's your pastor his wife um you know or actual therapist uh, it would be a very good idea so that's what mama rada recommends all right talk to you soon guys ciao have a great weekend